In this video, I'm going to show you a workaround for the Zoom 40 minute limit restart and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up y'all? This is Brian White and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we make weekly tutorials to help you spend less time making more videos. If that sounds like you, then smash that subscribe button now. Now, before we get into the workaround, let's quickly discuss how the time limits are set up inside Zoom because there is a lot of misinformation out there on how to use Zoom longer than 40 minutes. There are two types of time limit features on the free basic plan. There is a 24 hour meeting timeout and a 40 minute meeting timeout. Let's first discuss the 24 hour meeting timeout options because a lot of us are overlooking that feature. Now you can host a meeting up to 24 hours in length with one host and zero participants. You can have one host and one participant in a meeting for up to 24 hours. You can also set up a meeting with no host and have two participants on a Zoom meeting for up to 24 hours as well. Now, what triggers Zoom's 40 minute time limit is when you have a meeting with one host and two or more participants at the same time. It also activates when there is no host and three or more participants at the same time before a host joins the meeting. Now, if these features don't apply to you because you're hosting meetings with two or more participants, then I've got three recommendations to explore on how to best manage the Zoom 40 minute limit restart. First up is to simply upgrade your account. There's nothing more unprofessional than having your Zoom group meeting get disconnected once the 40 minute time limit is reached. It can become a hassle for your participants to rejoin the call, as well as stay absolutely interested in the meeting itself. Upgrading to the pro plan is an affordable option should you see yourself using Zoom more and more. The pro plan enables you to host and set up meetings for any number of participants up to 24 hours in length. Now, I located a promo code online that dropped the pro plan from $15 a month to $10 a month. I'll place a link to that below. Secondly, if you're not keen on giving Zoom your money, which is quite all right, you do have the option to restart your meeting when approaching the 40 minute limit. But wait, how do you know how long your meeting's been going for? Let me show you right quick how to turn that on. On the Zoom mobile app, whether Android or iPhone, on the home page of the app, click on settings, then go to meetings, then scroll down and tap to enable show my connected time. On the desktop application homepage, click on the gear icon for settings. Then inside this general tab, click on the box to enable show my meeting duration. So now you'll be able to see when the clock is approaching the 40 minute limit, which will allow you to notify the participants that the limit is approaching. You will end that meeting, start a new meeting, and invite the participants back onto the call to restart the 40 minute limit. Now, the third tip, if you're an educator using Zoom, you can request special access to remove the 40 minute time limit on the basic free account for K through 12 schools affected by the coronavirus. To do this, simply visit the website zoom.us, hover over to solutions, then click on education. Once on this page, click the request offer button down here. There are a few steps here. The first being to sign up for the basic free account with your school's email address. Personal email addresses such as Gmail, Yahoo, or Outlook are not eligible. Once signed up, you'll fill out this form down here and submit it for requests, which can take up to 72 hours to be reviewed and or granted access. Certainly the requirement to sign up with a school email address will help weed out others who try and take advantage of this special offer. If you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. If you've enjoyed this video, I know you'll find these other two Zoom videos helpful. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.